If you're looking for an easy video maker that your students can use, this video is for you. Welcome to another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Now the website we're looking at today is called Biteable. Now Biteable is an online video maker that gives you loads of assets that will allow you to create infographics, animations and lots of other types of video ads. Now how do you get started? Simple. Go to the website Biteable.com. You can find that website in the description below. Now you can easily sign up for a new account by clicking on sign up and then filling out your information. So I'm going to quickly say flipped classroom tutorials and create this account. Once this account has been created, you will be logged in and then you select that you are going to use this for either personal, education or business use. Now I'm going to go with educational. Now, where will you use and share this video? Now, predominantly on websites and in the classroom. Now, obviously, if you are looking for training videos and you select training, if you are going to be sharing videos on YouTube, you select YouTube and let's make a video. Now here is a set of different templates. Now we have advertisements, we have presentations, intros, there's even some explainer videos and slideshows. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to select the intro template. So let's go ahead and have a preview of this intro. Now as you can see, this is very similar to some other movie makers that you have seen before. Okay, now I quite like this. So let's go ahead and go to next. And we now get to change all the text, timings, colors, and audio. So let's go ahead and change our company name. So we will change this into Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Presents. We'll leave that. Now I can change the fonts. And because I am not a big fan of the standard font, I'm going to go with Leto Light. There we go. And I am going to go to the next uh, slide, the next scene. There we go, it says video title. I'm going to say a biteable. And the last scene, let's just click on the little arrow and we are going to delete the scene because I do not want to keep the scene. Now, obviously, as you're creating these videos, it is completely up to you in which order that you're using these scenes. And you can also add scenes. As you can see, when I click on plus, there are lots of extra scenes available. Now there are about 54 different robot scenes. There are 54 Frank scenes and there was lots of clay scenes. Now I'll just give you a quick example of one of these scenes and I'm going to add them. So let's have a look at this scene and then we can add this scene to our video. So I'm going to add some text. I'm going to say bye bye for now. There we go. And we're going to click on save and next. Now, after having selected our scenes, we are now going to select the different colors. Now, I quite like the green color, so I'm going to stick to this green theme. There we go, we're going to go to our audio. Now, you have a list of different tracks that you can choose out of, but you can also upload a track. So when you select upload a track, you're going to drag and drop the file. Now, I would highly recommend that you do make sure that you teach your students about appropriate use of audio before letting them upload their own tracks. Let's select a track. We're going to just select a random track here. Now you can preview these tracks by clicking on this little play icon and we're going to go to preview video. Now what Biteable is going to do is going to take all this information that I have just inputted and it's going to preview the video. Now here it says estimated build time is six minutes. Now these six minutes are going to be used to take the text, the color schemes, the different scenes and build it all into a little video. Now if I had to pick and choose one thing I do not like about Biteable, it would probably be that it requires quite some time to build your video after you've selected the scenes and colors. And there we go, our video has now finished rendering. So let's go ahead and look at this video.
and there we go as you can see very very easy to use probably my favorite aspect of biteable is the fact that you literally have hundreds of scenes available to use and it is so simple to do this is perfect for your very young students all the way up to key stage 3 students and just allowing them to use their creativity to create their own stories now down below you see you'll have three options you have publish this video you can upgrade your free account to allow downloads and you can also remove the watermarks now when you click on removing the watermark you will be presented with a pricing but again the free product is extremely powerful it allows you up to one gigabyte of storage and five video projects a month now it also allows you to publish straight to YouTube whereas when you do go for a premium which is about a hundred dollars a year you can upload your own footage you can download your videos and you don't have any logos or watermarks and you have an unlimited number of videos now whichever one you choose that is completely up to you now once you've published your video you are presented with the option to edit the video unpublish the video make it private or public and you can also copy the link below and then share your video. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below how you would use Biteable. What do you see are the pros and cons of using Biteable? And have you tried it with your students and what was the feedback? If this is your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you are notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.